Can you see it's raining? Hey, what's good, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. This is Echo Simpson. I'm trying to start this uh, vlogging thing, which I'll be doing it daily, like every day, about my daily uh, activities, who I'm meeting, where I'm going, and everything. Let's see if I can, you know, I can, I can do that. Well, so today is Saturday, 10th of uh, June, and it's raining. It's really raining. If you don't know, uh, this is our rainy season in Ghana. It will be raining from, it started in, I think, it, was it April or May? It's going to go through the whole of June and then July and then a, a part of August. So, mind you, if you're asking somebody to do something for you in Ghana and he tells you it's raining, allow him. Anyway, so I'm going to go meet a friend and then who needs uh, my support. He needs me to do something for him. So I'm going to meet him at the Cape Coast Castle, help him out, and then... Uh... Oh. I didn't see the car coming. Would have caused an accident. Oh God! It's raining. It's really raining. It's really raining. And look at the the gutters. This place is flooded. Look. Oh, my city, Cape Coast. How will I even know where the gutter is? Look. Oh damn, man. Where do I go from here? Okay, so I'm in an area called Abum. Okay, Abum Wells. I used to stay around this area, so uh, I know this area a lot. And look at the school field. Look, it's floody. Ah. Damn. How can the kids play here? Assuming it was it wasn't a weekend, it was a normal day. Then school must be closed because. Uh, kids can't be in such a rain and be in school at the same time. It's really raining. It's really raining. So that is the name of the area, Abum Wells. Can you see? Yes, Abum Wells. Now let me show you. This is Abum Wells. All right. So back to yeah, so back to it. We have this radio station in Ghana called Assassin Radio. It's in Cape Coast. Oh, it's in Cape Coast and it's one of the best radio stations uh, you could have. We have about 13 radio stations. Oh, yeah, we have about 13 radio stations. And uh, most of them are doing well. You know, Cape FM, Ahumka FM. Uh, we have a bunch of them. Where is she going? Anyway, this is Kotokraba Markets. Uh, one of the busiest market here in Cape Coast. Uh, it has history. So when you come to Ghana, or when you're in Ghana, and then you want to visit Cape Coast or Central Region, make sure Kotokraba Market is one of the market that you must visit. You could get anything you want. This is my city, Cape Coast. So I'm showing you around. Uh, I said like I want to be doing this maybe every weekend. I, I said daily, but the daily I won't be I won't be in Cape Coast every day, so I can't be showing you daily vlogs. Yes, I already told you that I was doing this vlog, so I came to see a friend who works at the castle here. So he's on a tour with some travel, so I have to just take my time and just move around. So when you come to the castle, this is one of the places you will need to come and get this to you need to come and read, see what you have to see, read what you have to read before you start. Oh. 
so that is my buddy right there. He's, he has a tour, so I have to wait for him to finish. Wait for me. <laughs> We have a lot of people visiting Ghana, you know, visiting the motherland, you know, to learn the history. Are they climbing up? A call Simpson, connecting Africans in the diaspora to the motherland. raining but people gotta work look she's carrying her stuff trying to make some money for herself 
you can't say it's raining so you wouldn't go find work you have to it's not easy man look at that guy he's pa he's passing the wrong place okay anyway show you a bit of my city i'm so happy doing this you know because um, a lot of people don't get to experience Cape Coast the way we do. So uh, when I do this, anytime I do something like this, I feel so happy doing this. You know, she will pay. Let me come. Oh, look at him working hard. <laughs> okay, I think uh, schools schools have reopened for uh, the, the senior high school kids. So they are getting ready to go to school so some of them are coming this weekend when this happens you see a lot of them in with their chop box and trunks uh, getting into transportation to send them to school I'll show you one of the best schools in Ghana it's called Infantipim and Infantipim is just about uh, one minute away from where I am that is exactly where I'm going to pass and I attended Infantipim but that was the basic level not the senior high <laughs> yes so when you come to Cape Coast, we have a couple, a couple of banks. We have GT Bank here. Uh, we have Fidelity Bank just next to it, you can see. And there's Ghana Commercial Bank or GCB Bank Limited and the rest. So where I'm, where I'm driving right now is called Fantapim Junction. This is on Fantapim Junction, all right? That is the school that I told you about over there on my right. Yeah, that is... Fantapim Senior High School. That is it over there. That is it over there. Yes, this one. Yes. Fantapim. That is it. Fantapim. Oh, that is the name. Fantapim. All right. If you need to buy shoes from America or US, secondhand shoes, this is where you're going to get them. Here. We have a lot of them. Look. We have a lot of them here. This is where you're going to get them. Here. So sometimes. Sometimes I come here, that place, and I buy secondhand uh, shoes for my kids, you know, in school because it's a little bit cheap for the student of Africa who is calling me. Yeah. Hey, so I had to come to KFC because my daughter said she wants KFC. I don't know what the mom has been telling her. Yeah, I want KFC, I want KFC. I had to come and get KFC. So. KFC for her. So basically, this is my day uh, moving around, making sure everybody is all right. And these guys are fighting. <laughs> these guys are fighting. <laughs> I don't know. This world is so hard. Everybody is trying to survive. You know what I mean? It's crazy. So just after KFC, uh, that is the Ghana Intercity State Transport Company. So this is it. This one here. So this is where you pick your your buses to Accra, Kumasi, Northern Region, uh, Volta Region, everywhere, everywhere you want to go. This is where you're going to come and pick your bus. I think I have to do a proper video of this side of Cape Coast, yes. So this is it. A call Simpson, connecting Africans in the diaspora. Hello. <laughs> All right, so this is it. This is where you pick your, the Cape Coast terminal. This way you pick your bus. And just after it is uh, a Goya filling station. Cape Coast is really developing now, uh, bit by bit. I'm not saying because of KFC, Cape Coast is developing. Because we have, you know, these transport uh, terminals here. That makes it easy for you to uh, do what you gotta do. You know what I mean? The traffic light is not working. Look, the traffic light is not working. So look at this guy. He's just waiting for me to pass because it's not working. Look, it's not working. Oh. <laughs> My city for you. 
So this is Petty Junction. Most people use this junction uh, to Accra and Cape Coast and Takrati. Yeah. It is so bad. This is my city, Cape Coast. Hey. I think I have to be doing this a lot to show my city. Anyway, if you are from Cape Coast, yeah, and you've been out of town for a while. Or you still in town? Just put up a comment and say, "Hey, Echo, come to my area. Come and showcase my area to the people out there." <laughs> so that I mean, you know, when it comes to development, people would like to choose your area. So yes, I am currently at at the saddle. This place is called at the saddle because of uh, one of the schools that is also famous and has produced a lot of big, 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 big people in Ghana. Yes, it's called Adesado. Where is this guy going? Okay, it's called Adesado. So I'm gonna show you the school when I get to the gate. Uh, too much water, too much water, too much water, too much water. So that is the school right there. It's called Atisado College. That's the school right there. That's the gates. Atisado College. Yeah. It's all boys' school. So uh, if you're a girl, you're not coming to this school. Only boys' school. <laughs> 